In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the basic settings that Gmail has to offer. In Gmail, you can set up a signature file so that every time you send a message, uh, your name will be signed at the bottom of the message. This makes it nice because you don't have to then remember to type your name at the bottom of the message. So to set up a signature file, what we're going to do is go up to the to the settings gear and we're going to click on that and go to settings. On the general tab we're going to scroll down and we are going to look for signature. Now by default you will not have a signature but you can choose to change this. So in this box here is where you are going to type in your signature. And you can go ahead and enter whatever information that you want. You notice you do have some formatting tools as well and in order for this signature to be applied to your message, you want to make sure that the second bubble is checked. If the first radio button is selected, that means no signature will be applied. And when you um, add a signature, it will send on all outgoing messages. So if you scroll down, you want to go ahead and click Save Changes, and we'll go ahead and compose a message, and we'll see that that signature is automatically added to the message that we are going to send. So if this was a message that you wouldn't want a signature on, you can just go ahead and delete it, and it will not have the signature file on there. So that is using um, a signature file. Another thing that we want to go over is organizing of your messages. And you can see in here I have all of my messages in my inbox. Now in GroupWise we used folders um, to put message to store messages in. Uh, Google has this, Gmail has the same kind of thing only they're called labels. And uh, they're different from folders in that with labels you can apply more than one label to a message. So with a folder the message could only be in one folder. But with labels, if this was both a personal item and a work item, I can apply both of those labels to that, and though th this message will appear um, in both of those labels. So in order to place a label onto a message, simply click the message that you want to apply a label to. You will notice that once you have a message selected, you'll see a series of action items across the top of your screen. This is your labels item. Um, so go ahead and click on that and by default Google will set up some simple labels or folders for you but let's say you want to make a label of your own that's not listed here so you want to go down to create new and this one I am going to call school business you might want to have a label for parent contact or um, something like that you can also choose to late to nest this label under another one that's already in existence so this would be like a sub label so if you want to do that you would check this box and then select the folder or label that you want to nest it under I'm gonna just make this a label by itself so I'm not going to check that and I'm going to go ahead and click create now you can see that this message has been uh, this label has been applied to this message. Now the one thing that I like about labels is that you can color code them which makes it really easy to stand out and see. So if you come over here to your navigation pane you'll notice that we can see our labels here. Here's school business the one that I just created. If I hover over that I'm gonna get a drop down arrow and then here are my label colors so I can make it any of these colors. Green I think will be good for this one. Stands out nice separated from the other labels that I already have on there. You can also see from here that you can remove the color and you could also remove the label from that message if you didn't want it to be on that uh, message any longer. Now one of the things that you can do then when you have messages with labels is that you can sort by label. So here I can o now I have school business selected and I only see the messages that apply to school business. If I go back to my inbox I can see all of my messages. Now, if you want to get rid of a message, you do not want it to show up in your inbox anymore, then we're going to use the Move To button. So let's say this message I no longer want to show in my inbox, but I want to move it to some place where I can save it. I'm going to go ahead and click the Move To button. You'll notice that I have my labels here. Um, let's say I want to put this in School Business. If I put, click School Business, now notice that message is gone. But it hasn't been deleted. It has been moved to school business. So when I select school business over here, you can see the messages that have that that have that label applied to them. Go back to my inbox. Those messages no longer appear in my inbox, but they are saved under school business. We can also just simply drag and drop a message into uh, a, a label or a folder. Click simply click on the message and then. 
go ahead and drag it right into the folder that you want it to go into. And I like to actually select the message and then click the box and drag it right on into that folder. So now when we go to school business, I now have three messages that are in that folder. So those are some basic organizational things that you can do to organize your inbox.